Welcome to Oberhof. The women's athletes are ready. So nervous moments as Tyrrell Ekhoff with a, with a huge lead. Tyrrell underway. She'll probably set a very firm pace, setting the fastest ski time yesterday. Fairly predictable. She's going to make the rest of the field hurt to try and close this gap down. What about Lisa Teresa Hauser? Often threatened for a podium. Never achieved it until yesterday. Reuschland ready to go. It's a long way behind. 53. Ski speed is excellent, as always. Only three seconds from the fastest yesterday. So far, beautifully central. Little high left. Beautifully central. Well, that's a great start. You need a, a positive start. No athlete, no by athlete wants to pick up an error out of the first five and often shoot a little slower first time in. Hauser now uh, at was 47.5. It's now 50.5. Davidova 57.5. Ekov for the second time. Oh, again, uh, the last shot for many. It's the problem shot. But a high position from Lisa Teresa Hauser. But so often accurate. Once again, today it is accurate. Davidova and Reuschland. So 5.4 kilometers, just over half distance. Two shoots already accomplished, and now the mine shot. Ah, that would have put the prone target down. 45 millimeters of prone target. Uh, Patrick must be delighted. Oberegger just noting down where the shots hit. <laughs> it's as accurate as that. It could be better. They all could be in the golf ball size target. So Reuschland, Davidova, Hauser. Hauser will probably shoot the fastest. Davidova is most likely the slowest, but she's missing already. Well, almost shot for shot there. Reuschland picking up her shooting pace. Davidova realizes that error has cost her, and she made the last one count. The chase is on, and Ekov still comfortably at the front. Normally four, five big breaths between each shot. Still not comfortable. She's going again, another five deep breaths. Then one in between. Once she gets that settled feeling, it's just one big breath in between. Last shot, so important, last shot. Oh, she's missed it. Opportunity, Reuschland, Lisa Teresa Hauser. Lisa Teresa Hauser, the pressure of reaching the highest position ever, and she was so close to having a strong chance of achieving that. It made her think about the last shot, so Lisa Teresa Hauser turns to the left on the penalty loop. Watch this, Reuschland knows exactly how she skis in relation to Ekhoff. They train together, they live together, they've known each other for a very long time since they were juniors. So, it's a long run in. This left-hander again, this is the climb. It's a very tiring climb as you get to the highest point before the drop down and into the finish line. Reuschland, it looks like she's snapping a little. No, nope, she's still there. Still there. What does the coach say? You can't say, well, I want any one of them to win. He's just saying, push hard, both of you push hard. Reuschland beginning to take the... As we look down the home straight, the left side, the right-hand lane for her. She's, they're both in the same lane. Still an opportunity for Reuschland. She has to move over and come through, but she's not strong enough today. Ekhoff, once again, another victory. Incredible. Five wins in this season, and that's only 11 individual races counting. So eight years of World Cup racing. No podiums until yesterday. <laughs> when, <laughs> when you break through, you can hold that new status, that new confidence. Well done, Lisa Teresa Hauser.